Okay, let's go see if we can catch the tail end of... Uh... Pick your poison. Pick your poison, yeah. There's Quince. Quince Val? Some Quince. Yeah. So fill me in on the rule set for this. I think it's like the, the person who loses gets to pick a crap matchup for the opponent to play. Um, I from like a pool don't. of from a pool of crap matchups. I don't remember. I don't know the rules for this honestly. I think they already this they've already decided the matchups to be played, but I'm not sure. I think that's might might be how it works. Uh, powering up Jay's here. Hmm. See the discard piles looking at foul. We got three aces, a bunch of normals, a single throw, just one throw, and Quince is at 39 health somehow. Um, tons of Quince face cards too. A lot of two trues. Yeah, only so. one throw in this card. Like, yeah, what the heck? He just, ate, just ate a whole bunch of Valerie attacks in the face, and I ate a Valerie throw. Yeah. That could very well be a real joker considering how much damage. Valor yeah, yeah, as Val though, you just you just take those, especially against a slow character like Quince. You can freely mix up normal if you're holding a ten, and uh, you know just be right. So I did not like even mix up earlier powering up two J's for an ace. Like those J's are important for damage conversion as well as spin. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's worth it to get an ace out of that, especially against Valor, you can speed up your attacks, so even consent isn't even, like, you know, that great. Right, right. Oh, just, yeah. Let's not even play the mix-up game, let's just throw you. <laughs> That's how poor Quince gets trolled by Zane a lot, too. Yeah. Same, same thing. It sucks. It sucks. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, oh, she's going. Doesn't respect it. Wow, it's Xyz. Yeah, that's damage. 21 and 12. Off a throw, 33. Stressful matchup for... For who, Master? Yeah, right. Oh, so like they draft bad matchups, like they. Yeah, I think they draft bad ma They draft the uh, bad matchup, like lopsided matchups, and then there's also like even matchups that they play. I'm not really sure. Yeah. Works. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if we can find a this official is... rule sets. Weird tournament, tournament format. I should probably report the match. Oh, yeah, only Maru is ain't the uh, Razik Bane. Yeah, he's according to Razik, it's the hardest matchup for Zane. Yes. Five yeah, attacks too good. Dodge follow ups too good. Final authority too good. Yeah, but one benefit Zane has is that he has a, a shit ton of dodges. So pretty good against Oni, who doesn't get a lot of value from throwing. Yeah, so there's hard matchups and odd but even matchups, as they say. So the first four games are hard matchups, and then the last three are more even. Ah, okay. So now we're still in the hard matchups section. I mean, I think I was saying that the highest rank block is eight. <laughs> yeah. So not a lot of protection against Guard Crush, except for dodging, of course. Yeah. Oh, for the damage though. Yeah, the thing about Zane is that he has really good damage conversion, so... Yeah. I, 
I don't think it's that bad for Zane, honestly. I played it from I played this matchup from the Zane and against Onimaru, and it, I didn't really feel stressed at all. So he only has a reversal. He has the unstoppable face cards. He has 1.0 speed ace, which is uh, just blows up Zane's whole range. Um, he likes to dodge a lot. He has 7 throw, which is pretty strong to contest. He has 5 attack. Uh, <laughs> lots of I tools, guess. man. Lots of tools. Yeah. I think just Onimaru's um, low payoff off of Troll is a big factor here. Mm -hmm. Another thing, too, I'm not sure how many uh, raw crash bombs you play as Zane, but if those get blocked, that's like Onimaru is not supposed to get knocked down, and Zane just gives it to him in this fight. So that's another interesting thing, too. All right, so now we're at the clockwork time, and there's only one attached ace. So this is where Guard Crush, I think, becomes more valid of a play. It's Zane, though, so you still have to watch out for the uh, endless dodging. At this point, I think Phoenix can also still also safely build hand and let Zane run out of dodges if he's afraid of any attacks he's going to throw at him. Absolutely. As long as he can get some final authority in there, yes, then yeah. When Onimaru gets a big hand, like even his throws can lead to decent damage, so that's a good. Yeah. Thing. And then Anarchy is not the the way out. There you go, like you said. Just block out the dodges. Yeah. And then he'll run out of throws, and then Onimaru can dodge a bit after that, too. Because the 10 and the 5 are, you know, he has to spend 10s and 5s, and what, 10, 5, 2, and 3? Those are the four ranks of dodge for Zane. No, 3. He has 12 and 4. 4. That's a gutsy block. It's weird numbers on Zane, it's hard to remember sometimes. So yeah, 3, 4, 5, and 10 are the dodges. Ooh, finally. Somebody had to push a button. Yeah, throwing is scary because Oni's just going to push out attacks sometimes. <laughs> so it's just, yeah. you know. The mastered. He, he didn't believe that. Um, but I guess, like, since he's. Um, I guess Master has shown that he has blocked dodges in hand, so that'll make Phoenix more reluctant to push attack. And honestly, he could master could just dodge again here. Definitely got some authority on this. Surprise Master just went for the Omix on moment, but hey. I guess he just had to represent it sometimes. That's one combat win and knockdown. So 5 attack is now a ridiculously oppressive card. Yeah. It's like Zane. face card for Zane, or, you know. So Oni gets to play like a dodge 5 attack mix up here? Yeah, basically. We'll see what he decides to do, though.
Wow, just a block. Yeah, I guess... I guess he really wants more cards. I don't know, I would take the opportunity to take damage here. So dodging, I think, would be better. Standing seven. Jeez, so well, beats card crush attempts and uh, throws. That's a big nice hand. Still more dodges from Zane. Ooh, yeah. that could be free damage. 319? Yep. Now Crash Bomb here is super good. Well, I guess there's balance already. Never mind. Okay. So Zane wins the underside of the matchup. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, no free throw there. Wow, that was that standing seven something. Wow. He doesn't even use. He does. Right, he couldn't use the standing its first. He couldn't use it. Okay, so this is the best of seven, I imagine, right? I think so, yes. So yeah, Gloria Onimaru is under the even matchup section category. And it's roughly who favored here? I think this is supposed to be even. But not not sure. But not common, not really explored as much. Yeah, this matchup doesn't happen very often at all. A weird one. Sorry from quiet, I'm totally eating. <laughs> oh, Dylan in chat, I see. Can you really not undo healing touch? That seems weird. Maybe at a certain point you can. You could not do it. That's bizarre. I thought you could. I've definitely seen Gloria's uh, change the cards they're using, but maybe you can't undo the whole process. I don't know.
Okay. Um, final authority, right? Yeah. That's a good way to get rid of spheres. Spheres. Yeah. I'll let the car draw engine get going. Sad though, because that's one of the only ways for Oni to get rid of the sphere. If she plays an attack, we can dodge, I guess, into a throw, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh boy. General's armor. Definitely good against low hand, uh, Gloria. Yeah, because Gloria's blocks are on her 2, 3, 9, and 10. Yeah. So it's like 50-50. Well, it beats, let's see. A 5 attack on KD will beat every single card except for 9 and 10 block, right? Oh, no, except for 9 block. Yeah, except for 9 block. Oh, <laughs> wow. And this is why Onomaru has limited options to knock you down. <laughs> Absolutely. Because if he can just knock you down con constantly, he'd probably be the strongest character in the game. Ooh. Um, wrong side of the 8 there. Troll seems odd here. Like. Sure, Glory can dodge, but then, like, so what? She doesn't really have the cards. I would... 8 attack is just better there. Okay, done with my meal. <laughs> nice. Okay, two aces. What are those for? The 1.4 speed to contest the 2.2s, right? Like, I see what Martial Law. Yeah, he powered up for two aces. Phoenix. Um, yeah. I'm assuming that's for Martial Law. Martial Law, I think, is good in this matchup. Oh, just plays one. Lots of slow J off the uh, off the dodge. Yeah, good value. That's a decent, uh, you know, dodge follow up. If all you have is a J, then it's still not that bad. Just four slows the game a little bit. He has no ace though, sadly. Yeah, that's that would have been would have been good yeah. to. You get 14 out of the combat win. And glory damage is so high when you really look at it. Yeah. I mean, like... Only character that can, uh... Well, I guess there's Rook, but... Can do damage from locking attack. Yeah. Then draw, like... So many cards. So yeah, playing neutral against glory is, like, really interesting. Because it's, like... But I just think it's scary <laughs> because, yeah. like, you just don't want to lose combat against her. Period. I play Midori, so I don't worry about it too much. <laughs> True. Poor Gloria against poor Gloria and poor Gwen, poor Renelker, poor all the Dreadlands people against Midori. <laughs> yeah. Eight point two. Fully pumps it. 35 health remaining. Oh, so yeah. He's opting to go for throws more than guard crash attempts. 
like he's done that twice where like master like master block and then uh play troll i mean i guess it's only it's only gonna guard crush two or three so like the eight attack is not that strong in this matchup because there's no seven or eight to crush yeah a lot of characters are five six seven eight is crushable but not gloria man it's called out that the slow j like i said that trades with uh with what king um but probably wouldn't if Oni's playing the king at all. It's probably not going to trade. Um, yeah. Beats Let's five attack and. Let's do a few things, but it's unlikely that he'll play it. And, you know. Does lose to his tree, but Ultimara doesn't really um, use that in neutral. That's a good bait, you know, get the J back and then use it just to uh, buy your ace back. Oh, yeah. Some good stuff. Lots of dodges coming out of Master now. And this is going to be another slow J. So, oh, find the light this time. Going for damage. Overdose. And then... You should still have the cards. But dodging is maybe a little bit less sustainable than he needs. Man, this is like super tense and slow paced. Yeah, with Gloria, um. Oh, wow, she went for it. I guess you really thought a wake up troll was gonna happen. It's not unreasonable. It's, yeah, it's super real at this point because Master is at low life. Well, not low life. Well, I guess. Yeah, low life yeah, in Oni terms. Life. Yeah, so Troll is super real. Oh, plays the overdose. So now he just dies if he gets hit by the face card. Yep. Could have a Joker behind this as well. Why two? Wonder, why... wonder if it would have been better to gone for Martial Law. Yeah. Or here. That's what like... I was thinking too, but I guess he wanted to hedge against. Queen, but I don't know. It seems. Hmm. I don't know. Questionable. I would just go for damage. Like you need to at this point. Like at, at such at such low life totals, it's like why are you hedging like, for, for future combats? I don't know. It's weird. Overdose? Not yet. Oh. I guess you just wait until you, you get one hit and then you're good, right?
Ooh, that's not good. Well, this is a single J. Well, with no Joker. It has to be Joker. Or he's dead. Still alive. Maybe that's why the two aces, the two attached aces, so that you could still get your 15 in two times and win. Maybe that's smarter than we thought. Yeah, now I think about it. <laughs> I see my clockwork soldiers, is that even jokers won't save you? Yeah, exactly. It's really hard for a master to push buttons in this situation, so... Well, Odomar is running our dodges, so that's something you consider. Yeah, but he could just face card. Final authority? Yeah. Like, yeah. Very well happen. So yeah, if master can block a face card, then that's maybe the best thing that could happen. And that's it. Yep. So the two chip, and we lose the uh, the ace. He's gonna draw a card. He's gonna heal. And now he can still OD. Yeah, draw the extra card. Draw another card. Got six cards for Gloria. And no more unjokerable damage, so we might see just a raw queen come out of Master if he's holding a, uh, a Joker in hand. <laughs> Let the mind games yet again. He loves to do that, though. Womp. Oh. Maybe still alive. Could be. Oh, he had the king. Did not seven show indeed. So, Master is still up 3-2, right? Yep. So looking at the uh, Twitch chat, we're talking about who has the most like hours and how many people have clocked in on uh, on Yomi. And I guess based on like, comparing the website and Steam together, I have 614 hours played. Or of the game being on, you know, and me being in the room. And Whatnot, so geez. Yomi time played considers uh doesn't count spectating, right? No, right. It's just gonna be uh just game it's just the the, the game's right? open, right? Game. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I have nearly five hundred and fifty hours. Jeez man, where does the time go? Yeah. <laughs> but I mean I think I spent a lot of it like just playing against bots, just because I can do it, do it at my leisure and also get packs and stuff. Yeah, totally. I'm like 190 dust away from. Uh, you got 190 dust? 190. 190. Uh, I'm 9,810. But I need a oh. 180 or 190 dust until I get my gold Midori card. Oh, wow. Wait, it costs 10,000? Yeah. For gold character cards? Yep. Jeez. I've gotten two BBB golds. And that's why I had so much dust at all. Wow. A Quince character card dropped for me, but it wasn't gold, so... It's a yep. shame. 2500 dust. Or... I think, right? Oh. Okay, so... This fight, um, I imagine... Is Vendetta favored. Because of the huge lack of dodges for BBB, right? I think it 
it depends. It all depends if Vendetta has the two or not. I would say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If Vendetta doesn't like start with the two, then it yeah, can yeah, go really bad for Vendetta. It's a weird matchup. Yeah, yeah. And then you can aggro. You can aggro the really bad combat losses. The ones that set range, like this one. Oh no! Can't aggro it. And yep. And this is thing where things get really bad for Vendetta, Vendetta right there. <laughs> yeah, because like if Vendetta has two, then it like really sucks on your BB. He's just like you can't do anything. Overdrive, dodge, king. That's like your only play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. are really limited. That's why you played Beta Thrust on turn one to sniff out the uh, the two poke. But here, the 1.0 speed is going to be really oppressive, and uh, king is just good. I like to test my opponents with a. First turn king. Oh no. Well. Ven does not have the health to get hit by junk shots. Yeah, some characters can, you know, they can take one or two. No, it's okay. Ish. But Vendetta, no. <laughs> 13 life is a lot. Ooh, we'll just throw it raw this time. And now the mix of normal is very, very deadly against a character with no real reversal. Yeah. That's three good. attack, six attack. Be nice if PvP had more normals <laughs> to, to do this with. Yeah, like yeah there's only odd normals in tree, which, you know, doesn't mean yeah. a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Get a 5 normal, that would have been nice. Mm -hmm. He needs that dodge though. Yeah, he really does need those dodges. 6. Yeah, good good hedge. Don't get hit by the, you know, could yeah. be a third 3 or. No, yeah. I Second 3. You would, you'd rather get hit by the a 3. Six. Yeah. Take 14 off the beta thrust. I think Junk Shot would have also been nice there on Vendetta's KD just for the damage. Yeah, because it's nearly guaranteed, right? Yeah, it's nearly guaranteed. So, Vendetta doesn't want to waste his 2 against a potential cross of normal and uh. Oh, he's out. You know. But what will he spend? Something. Claw trip? <laughs> yeah, something he doesn't care for. Yeah. Like yeah. Five. All right, so hopefully he's found the two and we'll see. Yeah, the overdrive. Definitely necessary here to beat the two with the jack and also to be able to dodge back into range because we know he's holding a king. But overdrive can get nullified pretty easily by acrobatics, right? So. Yeah, that is true. And at this point, with a decent hand, I think, Vendetta has this one. He's thinking about it a lot, maybe he doesn't have an acro. Oh no. Yeah, I don't, you can't go back to range. Can't afford it at all. And that erases all those little one turn effects like unstable power and overdrive. And what two poke from BBB? Yes. Good touch. And now he can get a K in. Doesn't Aww. have one. Okay. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, one point king. But do you have it? Was that a ep epic value that trap? Works. I think that's unlikely though. Like you would, if you had K, you would just like go for it. You need to damage, and you need yeah. to preserve your hand. Yes. 
The king's kind of a no-brainer dodge follow-up every time for Vendetta. Some have argued that it's kind of too it's too simple and makes for less interesting gameplay because of it, but I think it's okay. I think it's I think I would love to have a 12 damage dodge follow-up there I turn to my hand and cause knockdown. Yeah. <laughs> it's like one of the best cards in the game. Yeah, I would say Vendetta's K Wall Dive Loop is argu arguably the best card in the game. Yeah, I think it might be. There's so much value in one card. Mm -hmm. So that was a good block for uh, Phoenix, hedging against uh, the fact that maybe maybe Master ran out of normals. Oh! Wow. Clutch kidney shot. Very good what throw timing. What does he have off of it? That's the question. Six frost web. Oh, tumble strike. He's going. No maximum van into the oh. Joker. Sad face. Only takes eight. Yeah, now he's in. Now he's just delirious. <laughs> Robots don't have kidneys. Go for the vital machinery. Yeah, maybe it's even easier to find the critical points. <laughs> yeah, robot. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> then again, you know he's he's armored, so just put just put like big oily cloth like balls in those two exhaust pipes. Oh no, eleven damage extensor grab. Oh no, and and set to range too. It's over. Three card vendetta, four card vendetta. Mix up normal coming. Mix up normal or junk shot to end this. Oh, junk is free, right? Yeah. Yeah. He has to play like maximum ban go gold burst. Oh. There it is, gold burst and a junk shot. It's and we're stays. alive. He's staying alive. Yep. That was the only way he could uh, avoid the dying. He found one, but yeah. bomp, bomp. <laughs> beats both sides clean. Yes, third two. So, what is Master Blaster pondering? Gyro spin math. Yep, and that's gonna be GG. Oh. oh, and that's the set, right? Yeah, that's it. Four two. <laughs> Should we swing <laughs> dead head twos? <laughs> Give him ex power up. Not yeah, not a bad idea. Yeah, no. Assassin's Toolbox, EX Power Up. Get the, sh the stuff he wants from his deck. Yeah. Would immensely help. You can power up any two cards for any one card. <laughs> Not even pairs, doesn't matter. Any, any two normals for a normal, so you can you throw away like a 9 and a 10 for a 7. <laughs> <laughs> from deck, you know, only. Oh wow, so uh, I guess the Grand Finals of Pick Your Poison is going to be Master Blaster and I Am Nobody who are in the same uh, IYL division. <laughs> was, this, was this the Grand Finals? Wait. Nah, this was a uh, third. Top three. Okay. Top three, yeah. So Master Blaster, I guess, is loser's bracket and he'll be playing against I Am Nobody at a later date. Um, and he's in the losers, so he has Phoenix. to... Yeah, and Phoenix, well played, takes third. 
But uh, yeah, um, as Dylan pointed out on stream, I am very, very tired. Um, and it's getting a bit late my time. You're on West Coast, right? Yeah, I mean, it's not that late. It's clearly later where you're at. But, uh. Yeah, it's 10, 10 40 here. Late ish. <laughs> So just, just talk about rage. Yes, <laughs> Mystic Juicer was in preview stream the whole time. I have done that before. Previews. Wait. So in OBS, right? There's a button that says preview stream. You click that, and everything looks identical to the fact that you're streaming, but you're maybe not. There's also oh, start recording, sucks. which looks exactly the same, and that records a uh, a local recording for you. And then there's start streaming, which does everything all together. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so, so yeah, le he left the lens cap on. So that's uh, <laughs> no uh, no missing juice to stream. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh no, MJ. Well, it's okay, MJ. We caught it at least. Yeah, got some of it. But that sucks. Okay. Um, Thanks for watching the stream, guys. Uh, I'll get these photos. Photos. I said lens cap, and I'm thinking about cameras. Um, I'll get these uh, videos cut up later, and I'll put them on the YouTube channel. So thanks for watching. Uh, Shoutouts to Hydro and Merciful Fate for some interesting commentary earlier in the day. Um, and for Migo Hunter, congrats on your win against Fra in IYL4. And thanks for the, uh, the commentary no problem. today. Uh, yeah, so that caps another good week of Yomi. Uh, we'll see you guys next time, next week, uh, same time. Peace out.